Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Mr. and Mrs. Traveler. Hi, I'm Priyanka. Hey guys, I'm Pranjal. And we are traveling to Iceland again. And here's why. Guys, guess where we are. So many of you would have heard about the eruption in Iceland in 2022. And we are right now standing near the volcano to see the eruption. That's why. We got this last minute ticket to Reykjavik and we are flying to Iceland to again. see yeah again to see the volcanic eruption oh my god i'm really excited about it how are you feeling pranjal really excited just cannot wait to see the volcano this is like our top most bucket list which is like you can't achieve it until and unless it happens yeah we are flying yeah we are flying After arriving at Iceland airport, we picked up our camper van and headed straight to the volcanic eruption site. So guys, before heading to the trail, we are having our breakfast. Um, I'm having sandwich which we have picked up from one of the grocery store and Pranjal is having pasta. Call us crazy, I know we are back in Iceland just for a weekend to see the volcano. I know like, but this is like a once in a lifetime of opportunity to see the volcano erupting. So for are, us basically, yeah. Like I think for everyone maybe. Uh, maybe. And now we are going on the trail to watch volcano erupting. So finger crossed, the weather is not looking promising, but we are heading towards it. So let's go. So guys, we just started our trail and we are like 15 minutes on the trail. Till now it's quite okay. But I can see people going up in the mountain from here. That will be, that will be challenging. Nice. So guys, when we were going up, I think this is the last last time when it was erupted that's the site it's kind of rest stop for everybody right now as you can see behind me people are resting before they can go on switch bags We can see somewhere in the distance. Yeah, <laughs> the lava is burning, and we, can, we could hear some sounds also. Not sure that was of the helicopter or, or the actual sound of the lava burning and bursting. I guess it's Pranjal's imagination. <laughs> yeah. Now we are just near the old site, and it looks pretty surreal. The lava has solidified and it's pitch black. It looks amazing. And now I think another mile or so for the main side. It's looking pretty flat from here, but I can tell you once I reach there how flat it is. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. So guys, this part of the hike is pretty rocky and I guess till we reach to the viewing point, it will remain same because I can see from here. There are the rocks, rocks, rocks and you have to be very careful while, while walking. walking yeah, you should high. have good hiking shoes. Yes, true. And then we can see the smoke coming out of, at a distance. Yeah, I am hoping that's the viewing site but I can't see lava <laughs> and everything. It's still... still little bit far yeah you can see people far far there yeah so I let's think go still, uh, i think still i don't know how much how much I, don't yeah. I don't know it's it's far from here so let's yeah let's go uh, so this is the old site uh, last year in 2021 uh, volcano erupted here cool to see So guys, 
here we are at the volcano site. Oh my god, I can't believe myself. The heat of the volcano and then the lava flowing. It is the flow of lava is to see that is also another experience. Yeah, right? and um, while we were coming, it was all told that it will be cold, and it is cold. I won't say it is not cold, but when we were at the site near the site, yeah. it was really hot. You can actually feel the heat on your face, on your hands. <laughs> So it's, it's oh my god it's something i can't believe i'm doing this right now i'm standing here the volcano eruption is so crazy guys like Ooh. it's thundering noise the lava flowing it's amazing to see it in the videos and pictures is different and to see it live in person it was totally amazing totally amazing. amazing experience guys like you can still see behind us the volcano is erupting <laughs> and i don't know if it is coming that properly yeah. on the video but it we is we will try to show you as yeah. much as possible we've tried to take in all the shots of all kind angles. of all kind of but oh my god you have to come and see it in person it's this, something i cannot describe it this is something like a lifetime once in a lifetime opportunity guys and that's why we could not miss it and yeah. that's why we planned our yeah. second trip to Iceland just for this and glad we did we, we saw this yes so yeah let's go and enjoy the volcano show the real volcano show So back in school we used to read a lot about volcanoes and eruptions in our geography classes. Never thought in my wildest dreams we'll be here to see a volcano erupting life. It is breathtaking guys. there was a volcano eruption in Iceland we really wanted to come but we couldn't because of various reasons covid visa and everything and this year oh my god it's like dream come true watching the volcano from here Oh my god, it's a river. It was a burning river. We have not seen something like that. This is the current condition right now while we are hiking back to our parking lot. My god, I can't see people. Apparently we have to go up somewhere there. This is the first part of the hike back. Already I'm exhausted because 
our flight was yesterday night and i have not slept yesterday night because i was in flight and from morning i'm hiking and it's already 6:30 in the evening so guys we are almost there we are walking towards our parking lot just another 5 to 10 minutes oh god it was a hell of a day i can say wow and there is one more story to that we almost lost our drone yeah so we were trying to fly our drone over the lava fields and suddenly after like 5 to 10 minutes the drone lost connection to the remote controller and it was almost lost so i was just trying to figure out uh, i was just searching here and there where the drone could be suddenly we ran into another couple uh, who were also from india they just asked me like what was the issue and i just told them that my drone lost connection to the remote controller it seems like they also had ran into the same issue like just 10 minutes back and they were so kind and they were so helpful in fact Uh, the guy whose name was Saket he was the one who helped me find the drone so he actually found the drone he right? found the yeah. drone he found the drone actually big big thanks to Saket and his partner who both helped us to find the drone uh, and in case you guys are watching this video thank yeah, you thank very you much a lot guys you saved our drone and <laughs> you saved our footage, lot of footage yeah. yeah thank you after a hike of almost 10 miles and before that overnight it's it's like 60 kilometers like yeah. 13 kilometers as per uh, the website and i am also believing that because it's long a few points are difficult it's rocky yeah so but after that you will see a good view and now our plan is to find some food and then find a camping spot So guys we are back from Iceland after witnessing the most powerful natural phenomena on this planet. I think it was our craziest trip ever. Actually yeah. So one day we just read about the volcanic eruption on the news and just next day bam we just booked it because we had to do it. So guys before ending this video we just wanted to share few things. First thing about the hike. So the total distance of the hike is close to 17 kilometers out and back. We would rate it as difficult because of the rocky terrain. So we would definitely suggest you to wear good hiking shoes. Uh, so next how to reach the eruption site. When we visited route A was open via which we reached the eruption site. So what to consider before visiting? Definitely check the trail conditions as the weather is unpredictable and the trail was closed for the next few days after which we visited and i guess somehow we got lucky the day we reached iceland the trail was open we'll provide you the description of the website from where you can check the trail details so next what to carry you may want to spend half a day hiking and witnessing the volcanic eruption so carry plenty of food and water also the weather is really unpredictable in iceland so definitely wear layers and carry a rain jacket also it goes without saying carry a camera so that you can capture all the action for your memories so next about the parking We park that parking lot P1. Uh, there is plenty of parking available, but arrive as early as possible because the volcanic eruption site is very popular. Also, it is a paid parking, and you'll have to pay online. You will get the details of the parking at the parking site. And about the facilities, there are no facilities on the hiking trail. The nearest town, Grandevik, is eight minutes drive. In case you want to grab something or use restroom facilities. So if you are flying a drone be very careful because we have seen lot of drones getting lost due to connection errors we also almost lost our drone as we told you earlier but we somehow got it back So guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed our crazy adventure I know we were supposed to bring out the second video from golden circle 
but this volcanic eruption was so special that we wanted to share with you guys as soon as we could we will continue with our series next week so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel mr and mrs traveler and click that bell icon for notification see you guys in our next video